It's election season and the library is joining with the League of Women Voters of Indianapolis to register and help educate local voters. Erin Kelly is with us. She's with the local chapter of the League of Women Voters to tell us about this year's activities. Erin, thanks for joining us. Oh, so glad to be here. Well, the first item we want people to know about is the Candidates Forum taking place at Central Library on Tuesday, September 25th at 7 p.m. Tell us about this particular forum. Well, um, first, we're so glad to be at the library. I think this is the second or third forum we've done with the public library, and you guys are wonderful partners, and that's great. Um, but this particular forum that we're doing, it's, a ser it's actually one of four, mm -hmm. and all of our forums are going to feature uh, candidates running for the Indiana General Assembly House and Senate. Okay. So this is a great way for the public to learn about those folks that are going to be representing us at the state level of, over at the General Assembly. How will this and the other forums be formatted so that the candidates can respond to questions fairly? Sure. One of the things that I like most about the League of Women Voters is the fact that if you're on the ballot, you're going to have a seat at the table. So this is not restricted to just the main uh, parties. We have extended invitations to third party candidates who are on the ballot. And the candidates will be seated uh, and they will each be given the same question and they mm -hmm. will each be given the same amount of time to answer that question and we'll rotate through as many questions as possible before asking the audience to participate and we will allow the audience to fill out question cards and we will try to um, integrate in audience sure. feedback. We want, definitely want to know what the folks in the crowd want to hear. Okay, so this is one of many forums taking place throughout the community. This one at Central Library on Tuesday, September 25th at 7 p.m. It is free. And to learn more about the forums, mm -hmm. they can visit your website, which is lwvnd.org. Tell us what else people can find on your website. Well, yes, definitely go to the website. You can find information about um, how to confirm whether or not you're registered to vote how to confirm where you need to go to vote, and then just basic information about what you should expect at the polls on election day. Uh, you know, we have a lot of first time voters out there and we always try to get young people to check out the website so they understand what the process of going to the polls are like. Mm -hmm. And we also wanna help people understand that if you cannot make it to the polls on election day, there are other options. Uh, you can request an absentee ballot and you can vote by mail. You can go to the city county uh, building and vote at the clerk's office. So there are other ways that you can be engaged um, in the election, but if you're not available on election day, yeah. you know, there are some options for you. Good. Now the other activity that the library is involved in with the League of Women Voters is presenting the voter registration and information booth at right. various libraries through early October. How easy is it for people to register to vote? It's not difficult at all. It's one form, and actually it's one form with lots of tiny print, but it's only half of it you need to fill out. What we're learning, though, is that a lot of folks right now do seem to be registered to vote. What they don't always understand is if you have moved or changed your name, you need to update your voter registration um, form. It is okay. the same application and we can take care of that as well at any of the, um, the voter registration booths that you'll see us at. Good. So, you know. We'll, we'll help. We'll get people um, all squared away so that they know where to go on Election Day. And there are many of these information booths that will be uh, taking place and located at different libraries. So for this, please visit the library's website at ndpl.org to learn where the registration and information booths are located near you. What about voter turnout and uh, efforts by the League of Women Voters to get people to the polls? Yeah. What's, uh, what, what, how does Indiana stand? Sadly, not very well. Uh, <laughs> in 2011, there was a, a, a civic health index that was issued. The, uh, the Barr Foundation and some others helped spon sponsor it. And what that index tells us is that Indiana ranks very poorly in terms of voter registration and voter turnout. Mm -hmm. So the League of Women Voters this year, we have tried to really increase our efforts in being out there in the public and getting people registered to vote and talking to them about the importance of voting. We've been at the state fair. We're going to be at several library branches. There are different community events. Uh, we were actually at an, a fever game just a couple of nights ago registering voters. So we're really trying to be out in the community as much as possible, trying to okay. engage people in, in why it's so important to register to vote and then actually to turn up on, um, on election day and cast a ballot. Okay. And these are efforts by the League of Women Voters, nonpartisan organization. Non we we want to make sure people are aware of yeah. where you all come from in terms of your um, activities and, and what you're trying to promote. 
And so the library is proud to be part of you this year. And again, the candidates forum at Central Library on Tuesday, September 25th at 7 p.m. And then all the information booths at various libraries. Aaron, thank you Thanks. for joining us. Best of luck during this election season. And to learn more, just visit the library's website at ndpl.org.